when I go to bed at night, I, I never know whether to be excited about what's going on in that basement or worried. I lie in bed and I agonize, Brady. I agonize. All right, cut. Stephen King visited the set the other day, and the first thing I said to him was, do you like the show? And he just started laughing. He said, well, I wouldn't be here if I didn't love it. I got a very simple philosophy about people who adapt my work. If you love it, support it. And I'm down here because I've seen those episodes, and they're terrific. They're great TV. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to get to know Stephen King. And one day in the mail came this big box that was the galleys for Mr. Mercedes. And he said, give it a read and see if it was anything I liked. Of course, I read it very quickly, and I loved it. While I was traveling, I turned on the news, and there was a story about a woman who crashed her car into a line of job seekers. I thought, wow, that would make a great story, but maybe it's not what people expect from me. And then I thought, come on, you're 64 years old. If you're not able to do what you want now, you're never going to be able to. So I wrote Mr. Mercedes. Most of you have never Show. had Thank the pleasure you. to act with yes. Stephen King, but now you have. When you have the luxury of working with Stephen King material, you have a huge head start. I was such an admirer of the book that it was easy to stay faithful to it. The adaptation is a tricky one because obviously a novel is a novel, it's its own form and there are a lot of mistakes made attempting to take a novel and grind it into a film as against making a ten part series that can embrace what's in the novel. David Kelly is the man. It's like the best adaptations of my stuff. It sticks close to the plot and the things that are added, they add an extra dimension. The idea of working on a character which Stephen King had written was hugely exciting. <laughs> There's so many angles to all the characters and really, really interesting motives behind the way they behave. Feels like we never get to spend much time together anymore. This is Stephen King. He's interested in the human condition and we really get to play people, not just something that jumps out at you and scares you. Action. Ah! For Stephen King fans, they can look forward to seeing us faithful to the material. The Stephen King plot building, nobody does it better. You're out of control. People will call me the master of horror, but what I'm really interested in is telling a good story and creating suspense. Ah!